In this video, we'll be performing a static calibration for a spinner spreader on the Ag Leader Inside display. First, you'll need to make sure you have product in your spinner spreader. Then, you'll need to load a configuration onto the run screen at the Ag Leader Inside display. Next, you will need to press the Application tab in the bottom left hand corner, and then press the Spinner Spreader Control Settings button. Here, you'll be able to adjust the spread width the spinner speed RPM, your product density, your feed gate opening, and your conveyor rate. It is important before performing your calibration to have an accurate product density and to set your feed gate opening. A default conveyor rate of 0 0.2560 cubic feet per revolution will be utilized. Next, press static calibration. The system will provide a warning screen saying manually disable or shut off the spinner hydraulic circuit. Once you have done this, press the OK button. Next, it will ask you which conveyor would you like to calibrate. Today, we will be calibrating the Case IH FLX 3010 direct spreader. Select it and press Next. Here it will ask how much product would you like to have dispensed. For today's calibration, I will be calibrating 1,000 pounds. I will press Next. Here it will say conveyor rate calibration wizard step 3 of 5. Before pressing start, you will want to have a container below the belt to catch the product that's being dispensed so that it can be weighed after the calibration is completed. Press start. The display will begin to turn the belt and apply product until it hits 1,000 pounds. Once the display reaches a thousand pounds, the belt will stop and I will need to take and weigh the amount of product that has been dispensed. Once that product has been weighed, I will be able to utilize that in my next calibration screen. It will ask in the next calibration screen how many pounds were actually applied. Once I enter that number in, it will actually go through and adjust my CFR or cubic feet per revolution number. At this point, my static calibration will have been completed. I will press next. I have weighed my amount that has actually been dispensed and it was 900 pounds. And I press accept. Press next. And my calibration is complete. If I would like to double check my calibration, I can repeat the calibration process by pressing the repeat calibration button, or I can press finish to complete. Once this is done, a warning will appear reminding you to return the spinner hydraulic control circuit to a field ready condition. Press OK. Press OK again. And I have now completed a static calibration for a spinner spreader on the Ag Leader Inside display. For more information on Ag Leader products, please refer to your local Ag Leader dealer, other tutorial videos on the Ag Leader YouTube channel, or the Ag Leader Knowledge Base at support.agleader.com. To find an Ag Leader dealer in your area, please visit our website at www.agleader.com and use the Find a Dealer feature located on the homepage.